Hello, my name is Fox Fence. So, again, I'm a Fox, and welcome to another Why the Hell Did I Wait This Long? Because I'm pretty sure that, that, what, there's two anime things I'm going to watch right now. It's Port by the Sea and Ramshackle 2 animated series. Um, this is going to be Port by the Sea. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, like, I've seen, like, a little, I just saw, like, one, like, clip of it, and I looked at the characters, and I was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't wait five months to watch this. So, let's just get into it. Uh, let's get into three, two. Port. Side Studios. Through the smallest holes in the fabric of reality, a fable is whispered about a secluded world and the creation of mortal life. What? It's not where I thought this was going. The fable speaks of four great titans whose images and likeness were reflected in the mortals they made. Titans, you say? <laughs> You can see, uh, there's a little portal key there. Albert over there. Gita, keep losing king picture right there. Anyways. Ah, uh, so are there cat people? Cat people, dragons, birds, and Cthulhu. Yeah, one day the titan of the ocean, Tiamat, all right, Godzilla is gonna end that and that one pretty quick. It's not to play mortals for himself. Him? Oh, okay, she transitioned and began to drown the restore, drown the rest of the world within his domain. Okay, I wasn't that far off with Cthulhu, was I? Tiamat's destruction for mortals became so vast that the other three titans resorted to sacrificing themselves to create a prison for him. The moon. There we go. Alright. Uh, Tiamat's destruction for mortals became so vast that the other three times resor resorted to sacrificing themselves to create a prison for him on the moon. So, is this taking some ideas from Aztec mythology a little bit? Like, Tiamat, Tiamat not, really, I don't believe. But um, this kind of feels like Quetzalcoatl and, uh, I can't remember the other one. But there was another one. But then he, this would be, Tiamat would be, uh, the Obsidian Mirror one? I can't remember his name. The one that, like, I think becomes a Black Panther, the God of Panthers. And he wanted to destroy the world and stuff. And it's kind of a little bit, kind of like, they, but the thing is, they turned into the sun. Each of the gods turned into the sun while they prison him on the moon. So these three sacrifice and that's the bird water. However, what havoc would spread should the moon break? Shit, my if this is if this was any if this was too, if this was their sailor no or or owl tongue, they'd be screwed. Holy shit. Who would fix the wrongs of the past and what ancient evils would reawaken? Apparently, the moon would bust apart and stab a fish. Okay, I'm guessing the moon broke at some point. This is merely a fable, though, and surely has no bearing on the events to follow. Sure! God, the animation's pretty. And you start off with, like, this nice, soft music, and gone. I've never said how much I love the ocean and rain. Hurry up, Wart! Find and hook the piece. I what? I can't see anything yet. Something there. Did they say the piece? Oh no. Are they collecting pieces of the moon? My so by myself me by throwing the crab at it. I was about to say that was way more I came out of that guy's throat. Okay. 
Okay. How could you throw Jolly Roger at that thing, Umi? That Jolly Roger? <laughs> he was the only thing left. How come you can't have a normal pet like a dog? Everyone knows behind all great men are their timeless crabs. Besides, what? Jolly can be plenty helpful. Also, what are you? Because I'm going to go ahead and assume these fangs aren't just for show, and you're probably some kind of demon titan spawn. In situations, you'll see. And so they have a compass that can track the moon fragment. So I'm guessing the moon at some point was shattered. The god is released, and they're trying to find the pieces to seal it back away. Well, it's going to be hard tracking that they both again. Have It'll be even harder with the boat like this. Hmm. We'll need a shipwright for this one. To the town. To town. To town. Boydy. So I'm guessing she's based off. Okay, wait. Because there's there's the Quetzalcoatls. There's Quetzalcoatls, there's the bird gods, and then there's bird gods, and then there was the cat ones. So they're the cat, they're the cat people. They're the people of the cat god, of the cat titan, I'm guessing. And then that sea creature is of one of Tiamat's people, I'm guessing. And she's obviously one of the bird people. Excuse me, we just it's got- It's like Tweety became Granny. ...into town. Do you know of a shipwright or anyone who could help fix a boat? Oh, hello, dearie. A shipwright, you say? <gasps> huh? Do they have, like, cat ears under their hats? Mm. Ooh, jam! <laughs> Sorry, I'm afraid this town won't be much help. It's a small place. I think the You're by the ocean. Shouldn't you have somebody who works on boats? I'm gonna strangle the light. Should be fine now, I'd hope. The inventor up the hill may be your best chance. He's a nice man, but hasn't shown good the AC stuff. Oh, much of himself for a while. Sorry if the audio sounds a little bit funky at the beginning. Hopefully it's not and I'm able to key it out. Oh, I fear the worst. That's okay. He should be enough. Poor, we can't be reckless with the money we have. And if you have candy, you're just going to get distracted and we need to stay focused. But Umi, I'm if I don't get the candy, candy, then I'll just be thinking about it all day. And then I'll be bugging you about it, and then neither of us will be focused. Yeah? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> but you have to save it, and no snacks in the next town. No snacks? Deal. That was a lie. Do you think anyone's home? A light's Probably. on, so that's pretty much the rule. So I have no idea what their names are. Good night. <laughs> Hello? No, wait a minute, because the dragon guy would be... Because Quetzalcoatl would, could probably be the serpent. I don't know. Oh. I would assume the water creatures that live in the water would be Tiamat's people. Honey lies oh. Does this guy have brains? Please bring back my bonnie to me. Oh, oh my. I wasn't aware I'd be having guests today. We saw a light on and your door was open. A lady from the town said you could help fix our boat. Oh, I... Are you kids or are you just very short cat people and he's a regular sized human person? I haven't made, let alone fixed anything for... Quite some time now. What does this thing do with your PA? Why not? Well, I used to make all kinds of things for my wife and myself. Santa? But ever since the shatter occurred... I'm guessing that's when the moon shattered. And I'm also guessing these two have had something to do with it. 
I lost my Bonnie. Along with almost all of my work that night, it hasn't been the same. And she was deaf. Even my melodies have gone stale. So, if you were to find your Bonnie again, do you think things could return to normal? I of think course. She... But I just don't see that happening now. Oh, by lost your Bonnie, she didn't mean like you actually like she died, like you actually lost lost her. Wait, what? We can help you find Bonnie. Or you don't know that. The girl is right, boy. I doubt there's much to find at this point. Well, you haven't had us around, and we're great finders. Hmm. <laughs> if we discover something, will you fix our boat? I suppose if you manage. But the porch was broken outward, and I've checked the shoreline. So there's not much. So I'm guessing Bonnie is that serpent that was hit with the shard piece that then turned her into that creature. Or something along the lines of the shard piece hit Bonnie and then turned her into a monster. Most likely it turned her into that creature. Point. That's okay. Come on, Port. Maybe that's why she's a sea creature now, because it has some like, Tiamat's power in it. He said he scanned the place for his wife, but I doubt he checked the caves. Most people neglect chasms like these. Why? That's where I, one of the first things I really would think check. his wife's in there, Rumi? It seems tight. Also, if the how tide is high and the current is strong enough, it could take anyone deep within, no matter their size. Umi, have you seen that thing? I couldn't even fit in there if I tried. It would work, Port. It's, I mean, it's if I can fit inside, I can't I believe think you're arguing about it. Also, I think you could fit in there, Port. You I barely mean, even passed math, and you There's only... No, way, no I know I'm right. You barely space. even passed math, ridiculous. and you only passed... She said that twice. She said that twice, that you barely only passed math. I have no, I have no concept of existence. Oh, fun. What? <gasps> Fine. I'll just go inside and show you it's completely possible. Close it! Oh, God. Just like Jesus. <sighs> so much for that. At least we have some more candy to distract us. Where'd you get that? Oh, Jolly was carrying it. He must have found some in the cave. <laughs> hmm. I doubt imps would go into okay. town to get just candy. Something tells me that old lady might be hiding something. And may have something to Probably do with all of Probably a bunch of jam this. upstairs. Not as sweet as her candy, and rotten to the core. Maybe those imps are probably, like, Tiamat's people? Core, like the bad apples she uses. What? She has a pining for murder, and we should look into it. Huh, yeah, maybe. Huh? What? That was Let me handle jam. This. Hello again. Could you- Where were you on the night of the shatter? Oh my, who- Did you feed Bonnie to the imps? Listen here, Ace- What the fuck was his name? I was gonna say Ace Ventura, but that's not correct. Uh... You know what I'm talking about. Ace Attorney. I lost. Whatever. <gasps> you ground her up into candy. What the hell? Did you feed Bonnie to the imps? Okay. You ground her up into candy, didn't you? I should have seen it sooner. That way you leave no crumbs behind. Why did you hear like that, boy? Bort, we can't just... Wait! The stains. You already have another... Fr That's jam. Fresh victim, don't you? Port. <gasps> Oh no! I ate the candy! Port! You sick monster! Port! Grandmama, I'll fix the tear in our jelly preserves. I do hope people will enjoy it just the same. Call that. That was on the floor, <laughs> bud. Oops. Now listen here, you two. She didn't do nothing! My poor old ears couldn't fathom the words you just said. And if they could, I'm almost certain my tiny little heart would shrivel and die. Now, what exactly are you yelling about? We found your candy in an imp cave around the inventor stuff. 
Do you know anything about Bonnie's disappearance? Yeah! Spill the beans! Oh, sweet little Bonnie. Okay. Well, since the shatter, things haven't been quite right. You can ask anyone in town, they'll tell you the same thing. All of this is because of... Death, lingering in all the latest shipments. But if I can... Cat people. Cat. So, yeah, he's, he's, Tiamat. he's one of Tiamat's people. Give any headway about Bonnie, it would be. Six feet underground and I... I don't know who the regular humans are from then. Because I guess Quetzalcoatl? Because if we go by... If we go by mythology-wise, they didn't... Well, each of the sons... And that's with a U, not an O. Each of the sons, I think, made their own people. No, I think as Quetzalcoatl as the sun, I think he did make humans. I think he did make humans. Because I know one of the one of the worlds during, before the one of the apocalypses, like the Panthers were people, which would be like the Tiamat, the probably be the the cat people. Um, another one were gorillas. Uh, I'm not saying this is going off of Quetzalcoatl stuff, but I'm just running down the possible connections. Uh, so, was it human? Humans w could be Quetzalcoatl's people? I hit the pipe. My guess is it's all tied to... The end of a rope just hanging there. All this sewing for... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In all the you can ask anyone in town. They'll tell you the same thing. All of this is because of... Death. Lingering in all the latest shipments. But if I could give any headway about Bonnie, it would be six feet underground and I hit the pipe. My okay. guess is it's all tied to the end of a rope just hanging there. All this sewing for nothing. No wonder it all fell straight to hell. It was the only way the bread could get made. <laughs> However, sometimes we all just ended up at. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of things. This is the last place in town, and everything brought us here. If she's not here, we're done, Port. Everyone let us I kind of missed, like, the whether they're talking about, like, the easy thing that they did, but then also saying, like, they think she would... I have no idea. Hold on. Let me listen to this again. Right. You can ask anyone in town. town. They'll tell you the same thing. All of this is because of... Death. Lingering in all the latest shipments. But if I could give any headway about Bonnie, it would be six feet underground and I hit the pipe. My guess is it's all okay. tied to the end of a rope just hanging there. All this sewing for nothing. So it's it sounded like, oh yeah, she's dead underground. Oh, she hung herself, it sounds like. And then, nope. But I'm guessing this is not really more just jokes on like, oh, it sounds like she hung herself. But like, oh, that's not actually what she meant. Wonder it all fell straight to hell. It was the only way the bread could get made. However, some hell <laughs> times we all just ended up at the graveyard. So. This is the last place in town, and everything brought us here. If she's not here, we're done, Port. Everyone led us here. The gravekeeper is the one with all the answers we need. I know it. We owe it to these people to help after what we did. We what don't did owe do? them anything, Port. What happened wasn't all our fault. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, because they, they most likely shattered the moon somehow. How the hell did you shatter the moon? And hoping one person won't save the rest. We just need our boat fixed. Well, if that were the case, then we wouldn't be here. I just realized he has a moon on his head. Here. I can hardly see anything. The gravekeeper must be nearby somewhere. This place isn't that big. Hello? Ooh, I, I... Damn, dick. Hey, are you the gravekeeper? Some call me that, but you can call me Ankle. Not the voice I expected, but okay. That's a weird name. And you're a weird boy. We were told you knew something about Bonnie's disappearance. Why did you I know it? everything about that. And I know that no Bonnie has ended up here. Sorry to waste what time you have left. What the hell? Hey! 
We were told you could help us. Everything led us to this place. Okay. Life is full of dead ends. One day you'll run into your own. Damn. Come on, Port. Let's head to the pier. We can fix the boat ourselves. Who's here, Billy Hatcher? Wait a minute, he's a dinosaur. So the dinosaur people would be Quetzalcoatl's people, I would imagine. If we're going specifically, they look like it, but then maybe also the bird people? Because bird, birds become lizard. I don't know. Lizards became bird. I would, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the world. The world is a very important thing that I like to try to figure out. <sighs> I know, Jolly. I just feel bad about it all. Maybe there is no point to this, like Umi said. Mm. Umi. Umi for mm. Jolly Rock. Is there any musical fit? Wait, also submarine. Thanks. This was a lot of help. Pork. Uh, yeah, so she's she is Umi, and the stone turned her into this. And the music, obviously, the music that he's singing is the one that he, the guy was playing on the piano. And that's why she came to him because she heard a familiar tune. Hello, she didn't be able to throw that crap. Yep, that's her. That's her earpiece. Kind of also figuring that maybe Umi was maybe the fish. What the fuck? Found her. Found who? Funny. Hey, Port. Before we go in, I just wanted to say, good job for sticking to it. Aww. You too, Jolly. Well, then what happened to his wife? Just me. I'd have already left. But I think maybe saving one thing can make a whole difference. It certainly made our day a lot different. It did. However, I think it'd be best not to mention the piece of moon to the inventor. This place should stay simple. I wouldn't call this place simple, but okay. We did it! Huh? Oh? Bonnie? How? We just asked around and finally got where we needed to be. Also, if this is Bonnie, where is your wife? Oh, okay. Oh, here. I think this is yours. I can't. I don't. I didn't. I think I was thinking, but I didn't say it that, that most likely Bonnie was the fish. Well, oh, that's I nice. certainly owe you two for all you've done. Why don't you stay for a meal? And I'll get started on your boat first thing. Yeah! Okay. I guess that solves that reason. The music and stuff is kind of giving me Bioshock vibes a bit. Okay. 
Interesting. Port by the sea. Okay. This one was good. This one was really good. Okay, so this one was really good. I liked it a lot. I liked the art style. I liked the bit of mystery, obviously the mystery, because the biggest mystery, obviously, and I like how it's slowly hinted at, that, like, obviously, the world shattered. The world shattered, and or the moon shattered, which released Tiamat, and now those fragments are everywhere, and it also leaves open the idea of why are these two? Like, what did these two do? Because obviously these two did something. I like this music. This is on spot my way Um... If, like, it, it leaves the idea of what, what did these, I'm gonna subscribe, uh, what did these two do? What did these two do that seems to have been the one that, like, broke the moon? They broke the moon and they're taking it upon themselves to try and fix it. So something... Something's up. Like, something's up with that. And then there's also the idea that, again, like... Oh, Actually, let's see. Where's it? Thanks for all the kind support this far. Also, that's a lot of fragments that they're going to have to find. But, uh... The opening narration is pretty interesting. Like, one, it's in multiverse, which I was like, already like, okay. Oh, so right now they were straight showing the the fish getting hit with the thing turning into that sea serpent, and then obviously him breaking his chains. These guys seeing the fragments break free. Have experience should the man break? Who would, who would fix the wrongs of the past, and what ancient evils would awaken? Okay, so this is pretty much saying, yeah, what havoc would the spread moon? It would turn it, the shards create people into art creatures into monsters these guys are the ones who are set to fix it and then the ancient evil obviously is tiamat being released okay and again the idea that like these four titans like what is it e each one has again some people i guess based off of them so you have birds i i'm gonna keep calling it quetzalcoatl because i don't have anything else to say quetzalcoatl and then the cat people. And again, like, certain simple things too that I actually really like is that, like, again, the idea that, yeah, we don't... Well, all we know is, uh, yeah, okay, the four gods, apparently, let's see, the fable speaks of four great titans whose images and likenesses were reflected in the mortals they made. Was Tiamat and... Like, was, did Tiamat make humans? I don't know. See, that's, the, that's the only question. I don't know where humans technically are placed in this. Or are all humans based off of uh, the cat god here? Because it, that would make sense on things like uh, why these two have little cat fangs. Most likely they're cat people. I mean, maybe it's like a different amounts. I don't know sure what the humans would be based off of. Unless like the cat people all are like pretty much human-like. Or mostly human-like. So... You know, they could, like, it's like, okay, this guy has, like, I don't know, 0.1% cat. And these guys have, like, 10% cat. And then the other, the cat dude has, like, oh, like, you know, 99% cat or something. Like that. So that's an interesting t thing on that. Then you also have things like imps, which are probably, I'd assume, Tiamat's people. Uh, you have that one lizard guy at one point. So that would probably be uh, Quetzalcoatl's. The Gravedigger, we have no idea what his is. Though, it wouldn't surprise me if he himself is maybe Tiamat himself. Maybe something along the lines of, like, you know, Earth Shattered, he pops up here, and he just works as a Gravedigger, and maybe he doesn't want to actually be evil anymore. I don't know. Um, the characters seem fun. 
this definitely feels kind of like uh, something that was kind of may- maybe inspired by Steven Universe a bit. Like, and maybe that's just because of the backgrounds and all this stuff. And even then, too, I like, again, I like stories with water in them. There's a reason why Sailor No, if I ever get back to that one, uh, Sailor No, like, they live on an island. <laughs> they live on a big-ass island that is also the floating bits. And, like, spoilers, not spoilers for Sailor No, really, but on in Sailor No, um, a lot of, like, different, like, episodes will take place of them going to different islands that are slowly exploring, they're slowly mapping out islands that they haven't been to or, you know, checking up on islands that they have been to before. Um, so I really like the setting. I really like the setting. The characters seem fun. He seems pretty much aloof a little bit. Honestly, he feels kind of like that cat guy from Black and Easy. Um, I do, I hope this gets support. Um, by McKay, Bonnie, Credits, Introduction to the Show, Miracle Hawaii Part 2, Turning Port by Sea Scenes into Eyeshadow. Okay. Um, we see Umi and Roger attempt to find fallen pieces of the Broken Moon before an ancient deity can flood the world in the ocean. The pilot follows the events of acquiring one of those pieces. Is there any more of this? I don't think there's an episode two. No, there isn't. Uh, end credits. Okay. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I like the... It, it was... It, it's pretty fun. The writing is pretty fun. Pretty good. Uh, I like the art style. I like the... How very colorful it is. And how it, this feels like a little port-sized town right here. So I definitely want to see how, you know... They would expand on that. I'm sure this grave digger, this grave digger feels like he's too mysterious not to be important somehow. I don't think they would make. I. It feels like this is a show that it would follow two different islands. I don't know. They probably would come back to here at some point, but I don't know. Um, I'm sure there's also some other things too with like this girl having like skulls on her ears. There might be something along the lines. And again, there is the question of okay, how the hell? Where the hell did this? compass they have that tracks it come from where exactly again the bigger question is what did they do to the moon also i feel like the moon is like just a flat circle in this from how the the shard piece looked but god like see look this is actually really pretty that's also cute little like chibi version of that but uh it is really cute and again i love a good I love a good uh, destroyed moon in the background. Uh, yeah, I'm honestly gonna call it right now. This is Tiamat, and even look at this. Like it looks like his like tendrils or whatever. Bonnie has ended up here. So that that that's yeah, that's Tiamat. But again, like, and again, like, you know, bird feels like, so I like how a lot of the story is told without it ever actually being straight spoken. These two obviously feel guilty because they broke the moon and they're trying to fix it. The moon is causing havoc with the other things. I didn't really know, like, you know, oh, the world's getting covered in ocean, but it is interesting, all of this. And I want to see more. I want to see more, like, what else could happen in this world. Um, again, there is, uh, the one thing that's bugging me is, like, how the hell are they regular humans? Again, maybe it is kind of, maybe they're based off of the cat people, and, like, the cat, people, the cat god looks more humanish. I don't know. And again, these guys are probably more cat people because of, like, their fangs. Also, I feel like this is, like, if you took Steven Universe, and then also, uh, was Animal Crossing for how some of their characters are. your like... wife. I'm sure there's probably some stuff in the background, too. Oh, here! I think this is yours! Well, I certainly owe you two for- Yeah! This is a cute little, uh... This is a cute little, uh, show. I want to see more of it. Uh, I guess they have- they, Oh, Patreon support- Yeah, so I guess Patreon. They have Patreon, Friends and Family, Indie Animation Community.
I recommend it. Go support them however you can. Uh, I don't think they're selling. I don't know if they're selling items or anything like that. So I don't know how they will get support mostly, but I don't know. Support them. Go check out their stuff. Watch it. Comment. Love it. My job absolutely dropped when Dream Suite and the C Major started playing. Oh my gosh. At first, I was just like, it's cute. I like it. Then it's like Miracle Music Musical. Dream Suite and C Major. Like, come on, man. I love this. Lord have mercy. I need to make a lore video. Why is the indie animation so much better than... Why is it mainstream making this? Uh, well, Owl House did pretty well at that. Just FYI. But in any case, um, go check this out. This is great. Thanks for watching. Go watch it yourselves. Get get it some views. Support it any way you can. Thanks for watching for your videos. Hopefully you enjoy this. I like it a lot. Uh, stay tuned for Ramshackled. Um, the hell is this? All right. And we will see you later. Also, go check out Owl Wolf Town, my own little animated thing. It is not as nearly as good as, uh, you know, uh, Port by the Sea. At least, you know, you know look-wise. But, you know, it's on a budget of zero dollars. The hell am I going to do?